Good morning, lovely people, my epic boomers. Thank you for all who came the other day to the live. Appreciate you. Anybody that watched later, these are topics that we should be talking about. And how many others got away with it? It's not just R. Kelly. It's the Bill Cosby's. It's, it's uh, Russell Simmons. You know, he dated uh, Kamora Lee. Uh, she was 17. It, it's, it's a lot of that happening. It continues to happen, you know, and um, it's it's not good. So um, I hope you all are doing well. Drop it in the comments section. I'm going to go live Thursday or Friday. Tell me which day is best for you. I have watched all the rest of the episodes of Surviving R. Kelly. I could break them down one by one. You guys tell me how you want it. Or you want me to go live. I'm going to see about getting an 800 number and kind of going from there. And we can talk in depth about it. I could play some audios, things of that sort. I'm not going to try to put up any episodes on here because... I don't want any more copyright strikes. I don't want any any of that. I don't want somebody trying to flag my channel again, which was a subscriber out of all of that, or just any of that, because I'm not a big YouTuber that can get away with what a majority of them can get away with. I'm a small one. So with that being said, I watched the rest of the episodes. I was disgusted. One of these three women on here are lying to you. How about, I'm, look at the one on the left. She's lying. Oh God, she lying. And Kitty at the bottom right, she got a whole damn book coming out. Uh, I think she was on her Instagram talking about she's going to, you know, actually sign the first 75 copies. Um, it's just a lot we should get into. It's a lot more that I found out. It's, it's some burning questions that's still left. But I can't wait for R. Kelly, to be honest with you, to come out with the Surviving Liars uh, website he's going to drop. It's a lot more that you need to know. There's a lot more of a said and done. Uh, one young girl, Dominique, was rescued. Her her mom, I just, I, I think her mom is tremendous. You know, out of all these parents, a lot of these parents are doing it for the money. You know what I mean? The money. And trying to extort him for money instead of just getting back their child. Um, so I commend her. And, you know, I saw an episode where she went, she saw, uh, you know, an interview. And she went to go get her child. And uh, I respect that. She never gave up. She went and she got her baby. And we can go on in depth about that too because that has a twist and turn and it, it, it gets kind of deep. We're going to talk about R. Kelly giving out STDs and the abortions and how he was 21 years old at the high school sitting in a car getting young females. This goes back farther than we know. This is way before he got signed and all of that. So with that being said, have you seen Surviving R. Kelly? Are you even interested in it? Is this blowing your mind? Are you surprised? Because let's really think about it. At this point, they've made this man invincible. At this point, it seemed like no matter what, he's getting away with it. Even though he's not having the same album sales and concert sales that he used to, he's still making a good living off of you, me, and others. You know what I mean? That decide to still go to the concerts. There's plenty of women they talk to outside and say, R. Kelly didn't do anything. So when your mind is at close and you don't see the gray area with everything that's going on, you have to wonder about people. Even if there's so many, so many, ale ale let me repeat this or rephrase this. So many accusations against someone to me adds up to a lot of something going on. Yeah, there's sometimes there's people that are gunning for you in your career, but so many accusations after accusations and it's the same thing, same thing, same pattern. I don't understand why any grown adult would allow Sparkle, their kid, you know, their niece, their nephew to go around him. So I just have to wonder what's wrong with their brain. Why would you allow this shit? Even if you go as a guardian, that's not working. He got a whole full setup from that, you know, Chicago studio to the house in Atlanta. So many rooms that if you text somebody... And they text you back. You can't even still find them in that same big ass house. Just, just think about that for a moment. How scary is that? You're in a house and you can't even reach another person that you're texting. Trying to get in contact with because the house is so humongous. That he got evicted out of and owed $30,000. We will get into all of that. And on that note, at 6 something in the morning, <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go. Have a blessed day. Let, drop in the comment section if you're available for me to go. Well, for when I go live, I think I'm going to go live uh, either Thursday or Friday. Probably, preferably Friday. And I'm out.